bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to a special video with uh, Immortal Faith who's going to be talking a little bit about his coaching, serious coaching skills, which we'll get into a little bit, but also the hero of the, uh, the current patch despite recent nerfs, which is Lycan. Anyway, uh, hello Faith, how's it going? Hello good boy, going pretty good actually. Excellent, excellent. So I tell you what, before we um before we jump into the uh, the the uh, coaching stuff, uh, I'd like to I'd like you to take us through a few pointers on uh, Lycan, and in particular, uh, let let's start off with why why is Lycan completely killing it right now, particularly in the pro scene. Okay, so why is he killing? I think because of uh, some buffs, you know. Uh, to certain items, you know. Okay. Uh, so those items would be Helm of Dominator and uh, Necro Tree. I would say these items are really strong on him. They are the biggest core items he can get. Yeah. And because uh, these items are kind of cheap, right? And he is getting so much value from both of these items, especially the Helm of Dominator. Yeah. So imagine if you have a Helm of Dominator between minute 5 and let's say minute eight on Lycan. Yeah. Like you basically don't need anything else. You can just get the, uh, get the enemy catapult, you know, the siege creep, or you can get uh, some big powerful creep from the jungle and you can just uh, run at your enemy or run at towers. I see. I see. Okay, great. So, so basically more to do with game strategy than it is about killing people. Mm, I would say so, yes. Okay. Like, this is the hero that actually can fight uh, without uh, too many items, you know? Yeah. You only need like a Helm of Dominator and a Necro book and you can basically kill almost any hero, right? Oh, uh, really? But even better, you can actually kill towers faster than any other hero does. Wow, okay. So, uh, alright, okay, okay, so talk talk us through the, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's jump into that then. Let's, let's talk about those, uh, those finer points. So, Helm of the Dominator, so when would you get that in the game, or when should someone expect to get that? And then, on top of that, um, how would you use it? Uh, and, uh, yeah, just talk us through a few pointers on that. And the same again for the Necro book. When okay. and how? So, what I usually do is uh, buy a Quelling Blade at the start, right? I mean, I will buy a Style Shield, some regen, then I will buy some Quelling Blade. If I need Boots of Speed, right, I would buy it. If I don't, I would go straight into Helm of Dominator. If you actually can get it by minute 5, the Helm of Dominator, that means you basically have a free lane. That yeah. sometimes happens, right? Yeah. I if it doesn't, you will get it by minute 8, but it's still a pretty good timing. Yeah. But if you get it by minute 5, you are going to take the enemy catapult and you are just going to push the lane uh, with two catapults, basically. Probably killing the tower at minute 6, the first uh, tier 1 of the enemy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they don't bring more people there, wh what's going to stop you taking the tier 2 as well? Right, okay. Jeez, okay, so that's some serious pressure. Um, yes. Okay, okay, great. And so I presume, presumably, with, with Lycan, you're playing in what, position 1? Is that right? Position 1, yes. Yeah, position yeah. 1, it, it's the best position yeah. you can actually get with Lycan. And you're hard farming, presumably, with the wolves as well. Making sure mm, you're getting... Yes. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I would suggest actually maxing, uh, maxing the wolves by level 8, level 9, I would yeah. say. Yeah. You know, I think you need the... You need Howl as well, and also your third skill in the start, but then maxing the wolves is really valuable. A lot of damage adding in with the Howl as well, Yeah. you know? Yeah. You can actually tear down buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Lycan's always been a fantastic pusher. Okay, great. So, yes. so you've got your Howl and your Dominator, and that's like that's really great. You're, you're stealing siege creeps or powerful pushing creeps from, you know, yes. wherever. And then, let's say you've taken down a tier 1 tower. Now, you mentioned as well, with Howl and the Dominator, and then with, with Necrobook as well, you can kill anyone in the game. Is that is, is that right? Mm, basically, yes. You actually can kill almost anybody. I mean, it will be a little bit harder to kill heroes like Queen of Pain that can blink away from you, or heroes like Puck, you know? Yeah. Uh, this uh, escape... Uh, concentrated heroes you know yeah like well, the ones who can escape it will be a little bit harder to kill them you know because they can just blink away from you yeah yeah you well, can try to chase them but if they are smart enough you know they're gonna blink into you. the trees or something yeah 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 okay fair but enough all, all, like nobody can man fight you like literally there is no hero in the game yeah. who can man fight you 
Okay. That early. You know, keep in mind, that early. Yeah, if okay. we are talking about minute 40 plus, there are some heroes who actually can man fight you and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, of but course. I would say until minute 20, 25, 30, yeah. Lycan as a carry has so much potential to basically do whatever he wants on the map, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. And what about tanky heroes? Say, for example, Bristleback or Dragon Knight, for example, who are very, very robust heroes. How, how do they fare against Lycan? They are honestly not that bad, but what happens here is this. You have your Necrobook. Yeah. Then you are going to have uh, the Purge from the range Necrobook, and also you have the Mana Drain from the melee Necrobook. Yeah. I would say Bristleback probably does better than Dragonite, you know, because yeah. uh, you actually cannot hit him nonstop. But yeah. you are going to drain all his mana, right? Yeah. First of all, with the Necrobook, and then second of all, I would say you probably need any kind of help from your team to kill a Bristleback if you are a Lycan and you have your ultimate. Yeah. You know? It's not an easy hero to kill, but I would say plus one, any other hero, you are going to do it. Okay. And if, if you are actually going to be ahead of him, which yeah. you actually should be because you are a position one. Yeah. You know? You are going to be able to also kill him alone. It's Brilliant. all about if you are having a, a good lane, a good start, or if yeah. you are not in this specific uh, matchup. Okay, Against fine. the Dragonite, I think you just need the Helm of Dominator and the Necro Book, and you can easily kill him. I, I don't find an issue there. Okay, like, fine. When you have your ultimate, you basically, you know, you tear him apart. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, let's talk about Necro Book as well. So you've, you've, you know, so you got a Necro Book is your second core item. Um, uh, and then you activate your Necro Book, and then talk us through what a less experienced player, particularly like newer players to Dota, who don't really necessarily understand fully how Necrobook works and how you okay. can use it specifically to kill people. Okay. So with Necrobook, it's like this. You, ha you have actually an option in Dota, uh, control uh, all, all other units, or yep. you have an option to control all the units you have. Yeah. That includes uh, your Wolves, uh, your Necrobook, also your Helm of Dominator, Crip, and also your Hero. Yeah. So basically, you are going to control all. Yeah. You want to... Okay, so the... The really strong part about Lycan is like this. If you are going to ultimate, yeah. all the units you actually control are going to gain the same move speed you have yeah. within your ultimate. That's 650 move speed. Yeah. So basically, nobody can escape you. And Necrobook, how are you going to use it? Mm, you can use it yeah. for towers. You yeah. can use it to get kills. But yeah. you basically want to use it Whenever your ultimate is up. Yeah. Whenever your, your ultimate is up, you want to do this. You either want to go for a tower or you want to go for some kills. Yeah. Like whenever your, your ultimate is up and your necrobook is up, don't farm. Don't go jungle. Don't do anything else than trying to take a fight, trying to get some kills or, or trying to destroy a tower. Yeah. Or even try to go for ocean. Yeah. When you have your necrobook at level maximum. Yeah. Level three. Yeah. Okay, great. And so you've so effectively you've got an extremely fast moving army that you can take with you wherever you like. They then get in the way. But also talk to us about so for example the different uh, necrobook uh, units that you summon. How should you be using those? This is because I'm, I'm I feel like this is sort of micro control meepo style approach here. I think uh, it's not uh, that much about the micro, honestly. Uh, I actually had some students, you know, who were struggling a little bit at microing. Yeah. But that was just like at the start. You get used to it. You just need to... Okay, so my suggestion, for example, for my students is like this. Make sure you have a button to control all the other units. Yeah. And make sure you have a button to select your hero. Yeah. Okay? So basically, you need to have two buttons to... Yeah control the army basically right yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely uh, typically I, tend, I think the top key is f1 f2 what, what's your hot sure. key sounds good for me they are a little bit uh, weirder you know for me for example it's uh, g and it's one you know okay but keep in mind for each uh, player is different yeah 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 sure because sure. Uh, it matters a lot how they are getting used to it, everything, you know? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, that's for fine. example, all my students have, like, different keys from me and different from each other. Yeah. So, it, it, it's about everyone here. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, Whatever sure. they like, everyone can put it uh, as they want. Sure. Okay, so it's like this. 
you don't always need to go with all your units but generally i would say you can put together wolves necrobook and the helm of dominator creep you can put them in one pack yeah and then the lycan you can add it with them if you want yeah or just uh, use the select hero kit you know yeah, yeah 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 i would say sometimes you need to back off with the hero but you can still go with the units you know yeah because they are they are in the end AA expendable if you get the kill and they are gonna die after it's probably fine I, I would do like this i would send all my units for example if i want to kill tell me a random hero in the game Pudge. okay so if i want to kill this hero i'm gonna ulti summon everything i want summon the wolves summon the necro box i would already have the helm of dominator creep yeah and i would just uh, run at him right yeah like he basically cannot do anything everything i own all my units have 650 moves with yeah ba basically he's gonna die in a few seconds because the damage of all the units plus you can always uh, activate your howl it, yeah. it's insane and yeah. by the way your howl doubles everything it gives you at night yeah so a nighttime pick off Just is even more lethal